Shalom, all praise and glory to Yahweh. Bashim Yahshah, Bashim Akakadash, the honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Citation Rock T. Charles, truth and sincerity. It's this, um, this is, video is going to be called, We Shall Suffer, But Let Us Suffer for Righteousness' Sake. Um, uh, so I'm going to read, this is, um, this is first Peter chapter four, verse one, it says, for as much, um, then as Mashiach have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind for he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. Uh, so, um, as our Lord and Savior, you know, Yahweh Shai, he, he suffered, you know, the most brutalist, you know, death, um, the most painful uh, uh, ordeal to go through, you know. We have to, um, you know, put it in our mind, you know, that we have to, you know, that we're going to experience, you know, hardships, um, different trials, you know, being in this truth. Like, this walk is not going to be an easy walk, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, but this walk is, uh, this path is a, uh, something that we have to go through to receive, you know, a glorious salvation, you know. We're not going to get to the kingdom, you know, on an easy pathway. You know, we're going to get to the kingdom, you know, on a difficult pathway, you know. And, um, you know, we have to, uh, we have to really get it, get it in our mind that, you know, it's not going to be an easy road, you know. It's not going to be an easy path, and we got to continuously understand that this is the right path to go, not not the easy path, you know. And because um, what Yahweh Shai, you know, had to suffer, that wasn't easy. And he prayed to the Father to not go through that. I think he, I believe he, I believe he prayed to the Father at least three times. Um, so to, to ask him, about going through what he had to go through. But after that third time, he knew that he he had to go through it, you know. And he even um he didn't drink uh anything to ease the pain. So he went through it and experienced all the pains. Uh you know, what he had to, you know, ordeal. So, um I'm going to verse 12. This is um first Peter chapter four verse twelve it says Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you and as though some strange thing happened unto you. So we you know we can't um think uh that it's strange that we're going through any um any afflictions, any any trials, any any uh, hardships that we're going through, you know. Uh, I'm gonna read verse thirteen. It says, "But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad, also with exceeding joy." You know, um, uh, like like. A good example of a person going through suffering and in that time he he said uh shall we receive good of the most high shall we receive good of the most high and not evil is job job was going through you know hardships trials he lost his family uh you know the most high test, tested him you know uh tested his integrity and his wife, you know, she she told him to curse the most high and die, but he told that wicked woman um that shall we receive good of the most high and not evil, you know? 
you know, in, in the hard times, it's best to rejoice. The same in the good times, because you understand that, uh, like it says in Hebrews, um, uh, the, it's, you know, the Lord love it. Whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. He scourges every son who he receiveth. You know, we got to go through being chastised and, and go, go through some hardship being a servant of the Lord, you know. And that shows that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is, you know, with you. You know, if he's dealing with you and he's he's testing you in, in, a, in, a, uh, in a way where he, you know, he's giving you a little uh, affliction. Within your uh, your path, your uh, your spiritual path, your uh, walk with him, you know. Um, we'll read verse fourteen. It says, uh, "If ye be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of, of the Most High rests upon you. That on that part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified." Yeah. Um, to these people, you know, the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is evil to be spoken of, you know. But on us, you know, on our, our behalf, you know, that name is is um is uh to be glorified. It's an important name to have because that name, uh, through that name, you can receive salvation. Um, and um, they, you know, they consider. Um, the names, the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son are reproached. Um, but I'm going to read verse uh, 15. It says, But let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or a busybody in other men's matters. Um, basically, we're supposed to mind our own business. You know, don't, don't, don't um, be all up in other people's um you know basically keep our mouth closed and work about work out our own salvation with fear and trembling you know um it says verse 16 yet if any man suffer as a christian let he him not be ashamed but let him glorify the most high on his behalf yeah we're you know uh we're supposed to glorify our power on our own behalf you know um doing what what was required as a servant of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, um, you know, and you know, being it's better to be persecuted for righteousness' sake, you know, rather than being persecuted for being uh, for doing w wicked deeds like being a murderer or um, you know stealing or doing you know evil things. Uh, I'm gonna go to First Peter chapter three verse fourteen. Um, it says, but if ye, but, but, and if ye suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. Uh, like it says in, um, I think it's second edges, I believe it's second edges, um, 15, it says, let not the incredulity of them that speak against thee, the unfaithful, the evil, you know, the ones that imagine evil things, because their unbelief. You know, that's what incredulity mean, you know, means is their unbelief. You know, don't let their unbelief, you know, you know, be trouble you because, uh, you know, uh, you know, their unbelief is not going to make the, the, what is written in scripture untrue, you know, you know, and, um, you know, um, it's important that uh we uh we if we're reproached for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshad, that's 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 a wonderful thing that we should rejoice, you know. I'm reading verse fifteen, but sanctify Yahweh your Yahweh power in your heart and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of hope that is in you with meekness and fear. You know, it's important that we answer Truthfully, you know, every man, uh, uh, every question that he asks with meekness and with fear, 
it says verse 16, having a good conscience um, that uh, whereas they uh, uh, speak evil of you as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Hamashiach. Yeah, um, they may <coughs> look at, you know, uh, what's the word? Like it says, uh, have, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? They look at uh, us being a part of this truth as evil, you know, um, which that's, you know, basically bear false witness and you falsely saying something that's untrue about something that that's not, you know, evil. You know, what we're preaching is, um, what's the word, the ultimate truth, which is love, which they call that evil, you know, instead of good. Um, let me read verse 17. For it's better if, uh, for it's better, it is better with the will of the Most High be so that ye suffer for well than for evil doing. It says, for Hamashiach also had, have once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he may bring us to um, Yahweh, uh, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the spirit. Because Yahweh Shai, he, he suffered, you know, um, for his sins and for the sins of the nation of Israel. And um, he... Uh, uh, and that was, he sacrificed his life to bring us back to uh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, so Yahweh could adopt us back as a nation. You know, that was his sacrifice for us, for us to be adopted back to the Heavenly Father, especially the elect of the nation of Israel. Um, I'm going to go to, I mean, last one, Second Thessalonians. Uh, Second Thessalonians chapter one verse ten it says, "When he shall come to be glorified in his saints, and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among uh, you was believed in that day." And this talking about um, Yahweh Shai when he comes, um, when he comes, he's gonna he's gonna be glorified in his um his the elect and are gonna be glorified with him. It says. Uh, verse 11, wherefore also we pray all, always for you that our power would count you worthy of that this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the works of faith with power. It says, for the name of our, our Lord, Yahusha HaMashiach, may be glorified in you and ye in him according to the grace of our power and Yahweh, the Lord Yahusha HaMashiach. Yeah. You know, um, <clears throat> it says it's important to suffer for righteousness' sake, because in the end, uh, you know, when Yahushai comes and appears, he's gonna glorify his his servants, and he's gonna be glorifying his servants, gonna be glorified with him, basically. Um, anyway, I'm gonna say all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Kakadash. Double double honors to the elder apostles, they miss on. Sanctation, I can teach all truth, sincerity, and shalom.